Oh boy. How's it going guys? My name is KC and welcome back to Five Nights at Angelitos Remastered. In the last video, I only lasted two nights before I had to tap out because of how much of a wild ride this game is, and I mean that in a bad way. When I asked you guys if I should play the reprogrammed version that's on the game's old page, or if I should keep playing this broken ass legacy slash old version, and I had you guys vote on it, and you guys have spoken, so yeah, we're still on the original. Now let me keep playing and see just how much worse the game can get. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. I hope it saved my progress. Okay, night three, still on normal mode. I don't even want to know what hard mode is like, but I imagine it can't be good. What is this? Poe caution, jump scare system, fail error. <sighs> I'm not even going to read all that. Oh, shit. Damn, it was telling me about the oxygen for a reason, because that's actually a problem. Great. But yeah, I got to keep fixing the oxygen. And if somebody gets in here, I got to use the jammer on them, okay? Jammer, not jammer. There's no point in using the cameras, because, like, look at the cameras. Well, never mind, because they're not working. Like, they completely overdid the static. It's so bad that even the developer slid into the comments agreeing with me. Apparently, he just didn't have that much experience when he made this game, which I can understand, you know, that's, that's cool, but... <clears throat> All I can do is hope that he's gotten better over the years. The shit that we make when we first start out with stuff, whether it be content creation or game development or pretty much anything, when we start out, we're going to be bad, of course, but we're going to get better over time. If you're not getting better, though, there's something that you're doing wrong. You know, my early, early videos from 2017 when I first started, I don't even want to talk about those or even look at them. They were terrible. But look at me now. I've gotten better, you know? Who the fuck are you calling little man? Do you know how fucking tall I actually am? Well... He's probably still taller than me. He is a big ass animatronic, so he's calling me little man because he's bigger than me. I realize the oxygen is just there to keep me busy while I wait for somebody to come into the office. Because in the last video, which you can watch by clicking the card on the top right corner of your screen, if for some reason you haven't seen that, I assume everybody did. I mean, over a thousand people have seen it according to the stats on YouTube. That video took off, but when I played nights one and two, the oxygen wasn't here. There was nothing for me to do. I was on my phone for most of the night. And you know, that's how you know a FNAF fan game is bad. You know, it's not a good sign when you have all the time in the world to where you can be on your phone in the first place. All right, finally, that night took forever. Let me see how long, just to be exact. 10 minutes. 10 minutes, bro. That ain't it. That right there, that is just, nah, nah. That's way too long. All right, post-night fuckery, what do we got here? So we got Poe slash Jolly. And what is this, a boss fight? We gotta collect these burgers. And there's a withered version of myself that's just floating around, bouncing off the walls too and everything. And I got more burgers spawning in every couple of seconds. So what exactly is supposed to happen here? Oh, I can walk out of the screen. Nice, okay, I'm out this bitch then. The burger's glitching out. Nothing's happened, I don't... I didn't even go that far by the looks of it. Okay, can I maybe see if I can attack this guy? Nope, he's not losing any health, nothing's happening to him. Alright, you guys know what's about to happen next, right? I'm gonna exit out of the game. Restart it. Caution, jump scare system, fail error, something about the oxygen again. Okay, I don't need you to tell me about the oxygen again. I know about the oxygen, okay? I'll be fine. Damn, somebody's about to come up in here. Okay, Angel. Don't kill me, bro. Look, I'm jamming you. Damn, he got me. Oh, a cutscene? What the hell just happened? 
Okay. All right. The cussing was a nice touch, but I couldn't understand what the hell was going on. That was a completely unfair death. The ventilation broke, and while I was fixing it, Angel showed up. I hope this doesn't become a huge problem. Angelito and Poe to move her fast nights party system reboot. The fuck does that even mean? He said party system reboot. What's the party system? Nothing. Nothing. I don't know what he's talking about. Is somebody here already? Damn! Then I just started. Okay, oxygen. Please don't let nobody come up in here. What are you doing here alone? I work here. That's what I'm doing here alone. I'm leaning back in my chair. Resting my eyes and shit. I'm chilling. I don't think I've ever played a game this uneventful since the first six horrors game, I'm pretty sure. Oh no. Okay. Get Poe, and then quickly get the ventilation before I die. Oh shit, this is gonna be close. Uh, no! And this is a long ass night, too. If I die like that again, I'm skipping the night. I'm gonna give it one more try. One more. That right there. That ain't it, Chief. If I die like that again, I'm not gonna even bother trying to seriously and legitimately beat this game anymore. You got that RNG bullshit in 10 minute long nights? Like, no. No, come on, man. What were you thinking? He also used a jump scare noise from Jolly 3 Chapter 2. I just switched it to Night 5. Although things probably aren't going to be any different, but we're going to try Night 5. And then, if I die like that again, I'm going to go back in there, unlock everything. We're going to check out the extras and stuff, and then I'm done. Night 5 on hard mode? Bro, I couldn't even beat Night 4 on normal mode. What the fuck are you putting it on hard mode for? What the fuck, both of them? How am I supposed to beat this? What am I supposed to do against this? They're gonna kill me. Well, at least Poe is. Yeah. What the hell was I supposed to do? They both showed up, how is that fair? God damn, this game is bugging out. This game is tripping. We're gonna try that again. I got two more tries in me, two more. Oh yeah, it's over for me. They're both in here. Aww. Yep, okay. Let's X that out. Oh, there is a six night. Cool. You got all the stars too. Hey, yeah, we got custom night unlocked. Is there an extras menu anywhere? Oh, no way. Who are these two? And what are these? The errors? Those are probably errors. I want to see what those two are like. Are those actual enemies or are they just hallucinations or something? One of them is literally a stolen character, Jolly, from the Jolly franchise. Oh, okay. Golden Freddy hallucinations. Game crashes, in other words. All right. Got you. That's what they are. I'm going to just let one of them get me. How you doing, bro? Crash my game already. Thanks. That'll be a good thumbnail. All right. I'm not opening the game back up again, by the way. I'm tapping out. We're done. So that was Five Nights at Angelito's Remastered. The legacy version, not the reprogrammed version. And uh, when it comes to the legacy version, it is a straight one out of 10, but I'm sure you guys already knew that since like the first video. And uh, what can I say that you guys haven't already seen? This game's a complete mess. It's a disaster. The English is terrible. 
The post night cut scenes are random all over the place and make no sense, so bad to the point of being hilarious in other words. The 8-bit mini games don't work at all, the nights are longer than they have any right to be, cameras are completely useless and RNG has absolute free reign to decide whether or not you win. Because if a ventilation error pops up while you're using the jam girl on someone or vice versa, or if both of them show up in your office at the same time, then that's your ass. And it's very likely to happen, especially in a 10 minute long night. From what I understand, the dev just started developing when he first made the game. He didn't have much experience at all, so I completely understand, you know, we all got to start from somewhere. We all make mistakes, but what's important is that you learn from the mistakes. So I'm sure he learned a lot from this prime example of how not to do a FNAF fan game. And with that being said, I know for a fact that I've been rambling for long enough. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.